Being a dad is much harder than it sounds. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Have you ever had to travel to ultimate or er, alternate dimensions in a uh, Norse mythology, trying to be a parent to your son? Good it shot. Worked. We can now make. Although I did the aiming, Atreus just Come. shot where I told him to. So it was more like a pat on the back for me. It's not like I was complimenting my son. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place. Hey, it's not very nice. Don't back sass the elves that made this place, dude. They probably worked really hard through like forced slave labor and like no paid days off and shit like that. It's the legendary Big M. Yeah, what's up, Soul? Good to see you. Like, actually see you. Like, in kind of person, I guess? So you can see me, I just, I can't see you. But I see you every day, so it's like, it's, you know, kind of... Not every day, but you know what I mean. I've seen you before, and now you've seen me as well, so... I got no boy, you have a daughter, though? Well, good job, Vase, you're doing better than me. I'm single with no kids. Fragmented Heart of Alfheim. Reduce all damage from Dark Elves attacks by 12%. I already had that before. Traveling all dimensions to make her happy, but I fail at the end? Yeah. Although you have a daughter, Vase. Girls are hard to read. That's why every time you talk to a dad, he'll say raising a girl is a lot harder than raising a son. It's a lot easier to connect with a boy as a male parent, I think. Although that could just be me, like, assuming things. I've never been a parent before, thank god, so I have no idea. I can hardly look after myself let alone look after a kid. If I were to be a parent, I'd be like, yeah, go out and have fun. Don't stay out too late. Try not to get kidnapped by any dudes in rusty brown vans. Have a good time. That'd be about the long and short of it. So that's what I hated as a kid. When I was like 12 years old, my parents like never let up on me and I wasn't allowed to do anything or go anywhere or have a life of my own without talking to my parents first. And it pissed me off, because they were too overbearing, and it drove me nuts. Uh-oh. Yeah, that sounded like evil stuff. Okay, so it is whenever I hit something with the axe, I get, like, extra strength power. Alright. Awesome to tune in. Nice to see you've hooked up with webcam. Um, I was too poor to afford one. Uh, I went out and got, like, a $100 uh, Logitech thing, because people recommended it. Uh, and that's what I ended up getting. Um, it's still not positioned too well, because the way my room is set up, like, you can't see it, but I have a giant 50-inch flat screen, so right here is my flat screen, and then here's my webcam monitor, and then in front of the webcam and the monitor is my microphone, it's like right here. And then, uh, like, my TV is so big that I can't hook the webcam to it, and then I have my switch to the side, and my switch is like too short. Unless I tilt the webcam up, but then it'd be at an awkward, weird angle, so. What am I doing here? I thought I was trying to get this big vine out of the way. How do I do that? Do I have to go around the side or something? Maybe? Do I have to go down here? Yeah, I think I have to go down here. Where do I climb down? Or can I not? I don't appear to be able to. Huh. Okay, then what the fuck do I do? There's got to be something. Am I sure I can't climb down here? Yeah. It doesn't appear so. Hmm. I can climb down here, but that doesn't help me. Hmm. Uh, I can't shoot over there, can I? Maybe I can. Maybe I read too much into this. Living under that kind of control for a while sounds rough. I was lucky that my parents gave you a lot of freedom. Mostly stayed in and played games, though. Yeah, that's what I did when I was a kid. I just stayed in and played Left 4 Dead all the time with my bros. I didn't really have many friends to hang out with outside, so. And it's not because, like, nobody liked me or anything. I just, I wasn't a very sociable person. I'm not very social. Oh god. More fairies, fun. One idiot. I've beaten Bloodborne, I've beaten Dark Souls, I've beaten Sekiro, I'm pretty sure I can handle a couple of fairies. I keep calling them fairies, but they're elves. I don't know if that's like racist towards elves or anything like that. Probably is. Not that Kratos would care. 
Yes, he obviously doesn't give two shits. Doesn't care at all. Oh, I see. Alright, well, that's helpful. There's an angle right there, dickhead. Alright. So if I go across that bridge, I'm in the same position. Alright. It's like my old setup when I used to play in my living room with my big TV. Yeah, I was so happy to get like a 50 inch flat screen just so I had something to myself that I knew I worked for to get. And I always wanted a really big fancy ass looking TV for a really long time. So I went and splurged like 470 bucks on a giant 4K TV. And it complements my room really well. It's just the way my table is set up. My table is not like a line table, it's like a corner curve table. So it's kind of weird. So I got my monitor here, TV here, and then I have my, like, shelf of games over here to the side where you can't see it. Some kids should not be given too much freedom. Yeah, there's some kids like me that were, like, incredibly... I wasn't the best kid when I was little. I got into mischief and I got into trouble. I did some stupid stuff as a child. Then again, as a parent, you kind of have to allow your kids a certain, like, level of freedom to be able to do stuff and have an interesting childhood. You only get to be a kid once, you know? Like, I'd rather have my kid, like, fuck up and get into mischief as a kid and enjoy their childhood rather than just never get into trouble. Alright, can we go over here now? Oh, we go across the other bridge. Idiot. Yeah, I really don't want to lose my kid in here, because if he gets lost in here, I'm going to have a hell of a hard time finding him. This is blocked too. Nothing's blocked if you're brave enough. Oh, that guy is just flat out dead. Holy crap. Yeah, why doesn't Kratos get wings? Kratos with wings would be, like, insanely bullshit and broken, like... Give this man the ability to fly, and it's game over. He can already kill gods, he can warp dimensions and shit, give him the ability to fly and teleport, and he's like an unstoppable force. Strike of the Utgard. Okay. No idea. Probably won't like it. So I'm pretty sure I can... Yeah, knock down this blue crystal and then use it for something or another. Why are you taking that? When I streamed while using on my TV, my cam had to be in a very similar position to yours. Now I have a dual monitor set up with PC. Do miss sitting on the couch and playing on a huge screen. Yeah, um, I was trying to figure that out for the longest time, why streamers used monitors instead of TVs, and now I totally understand why. It's so you can have multiple monitors, like, so you have, like, one, like, in the middle, and then you have two on the sides, so you can, like, see multiple, like, different things. I totally get it now. Boy. Here. Yeah. Boy. Yeah, see, I told you. I can't wait until he gets all angsty when he, like, gets into that attitude and he's like, Ugh, fine. Like, he doesn't respect me at all because I'm going to smack the shit out of him when that happens. I used to do that with my dad all the time whenever my dad tried to, like, teach me life lessons and shit and he tried to, like, connect with me and make me smarter. I would just not want to connect with him very much. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach him? No, that's definitely not how we do this. Okay. Oh, I must have to do it from up above so I get an angle on it. That makes sense. It's so useful, never realized how good it was until I streamlined my setup. Yeah, I can't wait to be able to do stuff like that in the future. It should be fun. It should be a good time. Okay, so I think I remember this chest being a pain in the ass to get. Oh, I have to carry the crystal from down there up here? Are you serious? That's quite a tedious walk. Alright. Whatever. So not living with parents anymore. I live with my grandfather, but he's going on like 83 or something like that. Like he's really old. I'm uh, I'm working on getting a place with my buddy right now, but it's going to take a little bit of time for some stuff to sink in. And uh him and his mother are not in a very good position right now either. I just might. It's kind of like an awkward transition for right now, but hopefully it gets more stable later. But yeah, I should be living on my own soon. Like, if you count, like, me living with my friend. On my own. Could you hit the stone, idiot? Thanks, pal. 
Help me help you, dude. Secondary monitors don't even need to be so great either. You can buy them at a reasonable price, yeah. You just need the display. You don't need anything fancy. Like, you don't need three 4K monitors. Like, three 1080p monitors should be, like, more than enough. Not even that. Maybe, like, 720p, you should be fine. Had no idea a place like this existed in the new God of War. From what I've seen, it's all snow. Um, you go to different realms in this one. Like, right now we're in Alfheim, which is the realm of elves or whatever. And then there's, um... Asgard and which you can't go to in this one and then what else is there there's Jotunheim which is where we're trying to get to uh, there's Muspelheim which is kind of short uh, there's Niflheim which is like a realm of poison mist or some shit like that where the fuck is this last thing there's one more dingling thing somewhere and I don't know where it is oh here it is I'm dumb if I want your opinion boy I will ask for it Oh, no shit. Tell him, Kratos. Wait, how do we get the other one? How do we get- what? How do we get the other one? That doesn't make any sense. Or can we- oh. Ah, okay. Oh, come on. Did that do it? Yeah, alright. Even though I fucked it up. Brilliant. Yeah, Vice, how are you doing today? Hopefully you're well. We've been standing here a while. No, we haven't been standing. We've been collecting treats and stuff. So, watch your mouth. Watched RE4 speedrun on AGDQ. You know what's funny about uh, RE4? That glitch about the shotgun, the striker shotgun. I think I was literally one of the first people in the world to discover that. And then it became a thing, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, that's cool. Because I remember when RE4 first came out, and I was playing it as a kid on my GameCube. And I started moving really fast for whatever reason, because I was, like, fucking around with my inventory. And I was, like, trying to manage, like, where I wanted to place my weapons. And then I think I did it by accident. And then, like, I was running really fast and, like, moving over objects really quickly, and I didn't know what the hell I did. Have a look. And I thought I broke the game or something, but it still played perfectly fine. I so I was just moving way faster than everything else. It was kind of weird. On. Not like I have a choice. Quit sassing me, boy. I'll throw you up there if you want. I'll give you a shortcut. I don't need this magic crystal. All I need is some upper body strength, and Kratos has plenty of that. You've heard of Never Skip Leg Day, but have you heard of Never Skip like Forearm Day? And like Shoulder Day and stuff like that? I'll just toss you across. Uh -huh. Wife doesn't fix you anything, you'll die of starvation. Anytime That's what cup ready. and noodles are for. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Well, it's the same shape as outside, so it's kind of hard to forget, right? A little bit. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah. Yeah, finding new tech. Like, I don't know what happened. It was just like it just sort of happened, I guess. So, it's a door after all. Cause I was moving much faster than everything else, and I was like, the game doesn't feel how it usually does. And I thought I broke it or something. Yeah, that's not creepery or anything. Like their feet aren't even touching the ground, they're just floating. It's a little bit weird. I'd be really confused if I was Atreus. I'd be a little bit mystified, though, so I guess he's, you know, kind of in the right spot mentally. I like how they say nothing, like that's a perfectly natural occurrence that just happens and it's not weird or awkward or anything. Great. The one with the horns is back. What does he want now? Can't Atreus understand their language or some shit? He will be back. Yeah. He's probably really pissed off at us for like changing the tide of the war into the light elves' favor. Although we literally just came here to get the Bifrost, it's not like we give a shit about their war. We came here for our own personal endeavors. I was saying earlier about how RE4 reminded me of Metal Gear Solid, and now I remember why the radio calls the speedboat at the end with the sunset, the fight against Krauser. Yeah. 
Honestly, like, I went halfway through the first Metal Gear on PS1, and then I never touched it again. And the reason I only went halfway through it is because back in the day, we didn't have all this fancy-ass technology with, like, high dynamic range, and we didn't have brightness and stuff like that. We couldn't tweak the settings on our TV. The TV was just TV. And it's like, if your TV was dark, you were just fucked, so... Uh, the PS1 hooked up, like, via, like, uh audio, video, whatever the fuck, was just way too dark for me to be able to make out the game. And, uh, it was really difficult to, like, find my way through it. Oh yeah, this looks safe, right? What? Okay. What are you laughing at, bitch? Hey, yeah, you're about to get fucking stomped. Don't shut your mouth if I were you. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, boy. Oh, well, one of them's dead, so now there's one of them. Quick mess. Oh, come on, I couldn't roll that, really? I don't know what she keeps hitting me with. Alright, there we go. She's dead now. Alright. It would help me if you would hold the light up so I can see where I'm shooting. Use your ears. Adapt. Ho hold what light up? I don't have any light, idiot. What light do you want me to use, dumbass? Is Kratos this, like, radiant manly figure just, like, casting a glow or something? I don't know. Aim better, boy. Boy! This kid is fucking useless, I swear to god. There we go. Yeah, one setting? Yeah, that's what we had back in the day. We just had a TV, and it's like, if it was too dark, it was too dark, and you were just screwed. Basically. Have I played all the previous God of Wars? Yes, I have. I've played every single God of War, like, at least, like, 15 times. At least 15 times. I don't remember the PSP ones that well, so Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta, I don't really remember all that well. So I really want to go back and play those at some point. I need the crystal to activate this. Okay. I'm dumb. It took me a minute. I was like, why are there no letters on any of the things? That makes no sense. And then I realized I need the crystal. I just don't know where to get it from. Come on, idiot. I didn't mean it literally, I meant come on as in die quickly. So I can get back to what I was doing. Alright, good stuff. Where are the pink things for this? Below? Above? Left? Right? No. Okay. Weird. You remember being so hyped for God of War 2? I remember when God of War 3 was first coming out, and I played all the other prior God of Wars, and then I was not able to play God of War 3 for like... Ooh, what, five or six years? And I totally forgot that it came out, because it had just been so long since I got the chance to play it. Uh, I didn't have a PS3, so I went straight from generation like PS2 to uh, PS4, and I never had an opportunity to play it for PS3. Do I have to, like, recast the light in this area to be able to see where the things are? That seems kind of dumb, but alright. Where's this stupid crystal I'm supposed to be getting? Oh, it must be across this. I must have to shoot this one and then go across here. This is a little ridiculous, God of War. Come on. There we go. No way, what a wait. Yeah, it was an insane wait. Like, I practically forgot the game even existed before I got the chance to play it. So, I remember going over to my mate's house, and he had a PS3 set up, and uh, he had God of War 3, and I was like, you've gotta let me play this, and he's like, okay. So, like, I just played it start to finish, like, in that same setting. Wait, what do we do here? What the hell? Ah. Oh, okay. Really, guys, you're gonna really hit a man while he's coughing? Come on, man. Where's your courtesy? Oh, wow, that strength boost is insane. Holy crap. 
Yeah, that insane strength boost. I don't know what it is, but I have a really awful cough that's been kind of plaguing me for the past few days, so... Hopefully it subsides here soon. Oh yeah, I sure would love to become famous by two separate bots. I'm so humbled to have two offers. Thank you guys very much. What would I do without you? Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. There was a really funny meme with that, and, uh, with Dark, and, uh, we were talking about, like, the giant world serpent and stuff like that, and, like, carving runes in the sand. And, uh, we, we were just kind of dicking around joking that, uh, it's these bots that come into chat, and they just, like, offer to make channel art for you and shit. It was super funny. Dark had a really good time with it. It was pretty fun. Yeah, I hope it clears up soon, too. Thank you, man. It's, like, it's not dreadfully serious, but it's kind of just, like, annoying, I guess. I just, mm, I wish it would go away so I didn't have it. It's kind of unfortunate. Okay, now what? That doesn't tell me nothing. Oh, I see. So I just gotta turn these really fast, so B, E, F, and weird F, alright. B. F. I still need E and the other F. E. Nice. Alright. Took a few misses, but we did it. That wasn't that bad. Alright, those letters look the same, so... Runic Skilled Spalder, so those any good? Gives me way less strength. Gives me a lot of runic power, though. I think I'd rather just keep the strength overall. Alright. Cool, can we get out of this, like, weird elf hellhole yet? Can you imagine Kratos going to, like, a parent-teacher conference when his kid fucks up in school? And, like, the teacher calls Kratos and he's like, What did the boy do now? They're just like, oh, well, he pulled out his bow and shot another child in the mouth because the kid was, like, bugging him and, like, stealing his lunch money. And Kratos is like, boy, what have I told you? No shooting other kids in the mouth. And what did you do? Now, Kratos wouldn't give a fuck. He'd just be like, good boy. Wrong those who wrong you or whatever the fuck. Some weird, like, oddly deep life stuff. Yet to play this one, definitely on the list. Yeah, this one is pretty good. I like the old ones more, but this one is good, too. Yeah, quit talking down to your son like he doesn't understand the powers of, like, mystical elves and light and, like, weird crystals and shit. He clearly has, like, somewhat of an understanding. Just seeing him sitting on one of those small school chairs would make me chuckle. Yeah, he's a big man. He would take at least three or four of those school chairs at least, I think. At least three or four. Oh, goodbye, boy. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that to him. Poor guy. Wait, so if I freeze this and I turn around, what happens? Oh, I can climb up. Hell yeah. Can I climb up? Oh, I must have dropped it too low. Okay, so I spin this down one. Two. And then I come off this thing. No, I must have to spin it down three then. Alright. So I'm not going down low enough. God damn it. Why is this so hard to aim? There we go. Alright. Now we climb up here, and this is how we were originally supposed to get the thing, but I screwed it up, and I cheated. Ah. Alright, fair enough. It's funny how this game did a similar thing to RE4 with its camera change. Yeah, I feel like Dark Souls influenced so many things that everything is just kind of taken after it. And it ruins some games, and it makes some games better. 
But I like the original God of War a lot more than this version. But it's cool to see them, like, change pace and do something new and unique with it, I guess. Because the old God of War's hack and slashy combat and, like, the crazy badass shit Kratos did and the QTEs and stuff like that and the epic fights and stuff. That was more like my cup of tea. This one, I feel like everything is so reduced in scale that it doesn't have the same impact as it did with previous entries of the franchise, and that's what I don't like about it. Other than that, I think it's really good. Um, unless they get progressively more and more intense as the series goes on. In that event, I could see this getting, like, insanely crazy. Can I have the thing? It's fascinating to see how one small game came to have so much influence. Yeah, it is kind of like... Like, I feel like Dark Souls was so progressive and influential in a way. But at the other time, it's hindered so many things, like, potentially from what they could be. Like, if they had just originally, like, gone with how they wanted to design it to begin with. And, like, it almost feels like everything is trying to be Souls-like in a way, and it kind of sucks, but it's kind of good, too. Like, when there's good Souls-likes, like, I have Code Vein, thanks to Ian, but I haven't played it yet. So, like, maybe we'll start up Code Vein after God of War, but I think I want to play something else before we play Code Vein, and it's going to be, like, a five or six hour game, at most, I think. Because uh, it's kind of, like, indie, but it seems really good. Like, it seems really quality, so I want to actually, like, give it a try and see how I like it. Where are we going, by the way? There's, like, no direction. Where the hell do I go? Now I can see the man behind all the swear words. Yeah, what's up, Vevis? How's it going? By man, you mean, like, little baby bitch boy who gets mad at video games sometimes because I get frustrated easy? How's it going, Vevis? How are you doing? Yeah, I recently went out and procured myself a Logitech webcam, so now we have webcam. Dude, don't we? The big, angry, scary fairy guy. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really sorry about that. Alright, cut that down. What is this? Anything good? 367 bucks, good enough for me. It's going good, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well. Kratos is doing well too. My boy, not so much, but Kratos is doing alright. Although I am guessing he's quite cold. So all he's wearing is like a little bit of boar skin, but I don't know if you knew this, but like animal pelts are actually incredibly warm. It's so like if you see anybody like out in the wilderness or whatever, it regulates body heat really well, like way better than you think it would. So like people who are like going out jogging and stuff like that, like because they're active and they have their bl blood flow going and stuff like that, it heats them. It's so like people who are out jogging in the morning and just like a pair of joggers and shit like that, like they're actually pretty warm. It's so like they're doing alright. Nice warning, boy. Fuck, chump. Shit, that really hurt. Ooh. Where are you, big guy? There you are. I did kick the shit out of him before he even hit me once, though. Why can't I block him? What the fuck? I swear to god, I'm parrying that. Alright, though. Whatever you say, dude. He must also have a dad at Microsoft that allows him to cheat. Yep, because I didn't roll. Guess not. Oh, 
Where the fuck is he? There he is. Can I get this health? Thanks, that's wipe. That was a little scary. I like how I went from like beating this dude's ass to getting my ass kicked in like two seconds. That's good shit. There we go, he's super dead. Jesus. Alright. That was a little bit of a rough fight. It started out well and then it kind of went to shit like halfway through. Like I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a game named S what Svartalshafur. Like I don't even know how to pronounce that dude. Like I'm gonna get my ass kicked by a dude whose name I can't even like correctly pronounce. 